Despite the traditional depictions of a dead or dying Triceratops with a victorious T-Rex looming over its body, the plant eater wasn't easy prey. Paleontologists from the Museum of the Rockies have also uncovered some specimens of Triceratops with evidence of healed bite marks, suggesting that Triceratops successfully fended off their would-be predator T-Rex some of the time. You know, with those horns on its head, it certainly could defend itself and probably did defend itself multiple times from the only thing that probably could have really eaten it, which was T-Rex. So with those horns, that probably saved its life a few times, I think. They also battled amongst one another. And some fossils may show injuries from other Triceratops, both healed and raw at the time of death. So there have been some studies looking at marks on the sides of the skulls of Triceratops, which have been suggested to have been made by the horns of other Triceratops. So they seem to match up with if two Triceratops were to lock horns together, it could be that these marks on the sides of the skulls formed by the interaction of the horn and the face. They might have engaged in some kind of Triceratops to Triceratops combat, perhaps over territory or mates. 